Okay, we're ready. Okay. All right. So, at uh, Dinsa Speed is on for 2020. I did classic mode, but this time we're doing adventure mode, which is a bit shorter because we could do uh, a funny little, you know, glitch. Hopefully, it should I can should give this uh, run a bit more justice because you know last one was a bit of a disaster. So, let's go. Three, two. Oh wait, hang on. Um, I forgot to open live split. Is that okay? No, it's fine. I can. I've got the timer on my end anyway. It's not too big of a. Okay. Problem. Just count right. down. I'll just carry on anyway. I don't want to play the time too much. Anyways, let's go. Three, two, one. Blast off. All right. So immediately we're starting off with some cutscene. But we need this cutscene to trigger the glitch. So give me a bit of time. It's really. It's super easy to do, right? You just. You know, everyone get a dog can do this, right? So the moment Lilac starts booting the right, you can start doing this. There you go. <laughs> That's it. Hello, Stumpy. Goodbye, Stumpy. So we just go past this. Come on. And then we do this. Next stage. And now we're in Fortune Night already. We just skip two levels. So we need to go up here. Take these jump pads. We don't need the jump pads very often, but sometimes we do. Let it go any directions. Oh, we oh, ended up here anyway. On the all oh, up right, right side, it does make us move damage. So here's the section we have to kind of just wait. Let's see if we can buffer here, buffer down. Let's go! Take the lower path because it's a wee bit faster. Jump off the slope for extra speed. So there's this pizza tech, it's actually a glitch, right? If you hold on the boost button and jump, you keep it, you remain the boost speed, and you can also do this to switch around and faster in midair. It feels unnatural at first, but after a while it's quite fun. For some reason. There's a more extra slope landing. You mostly want to be on the bike. Because it's much faster for early outs, but you want to be off bike for fighting all the time as well. So we're gonna be doing our wrong work. Let's see if we can get it. Oop. It can take a few tries. It's a bit finicky. Third try. We didn't get the uh, transition skip, but that's okay. It doesn't save that much time. All right, so we're doing our first mini boss. Uh, there we go, really quick. Why can you miss it? <laughs> yeah, Wild Claw's pretty brutal. Then we go up here. Because, you know, you've got to hold on boost when you jump for the extra speed. Otherwise, it just kind of whiffs. I mean, it still gets you up, though. Alright, so we want to just buffer jump so we go straight down immediately. Because he's heavy. Alright, just get up here. Get up this wall. Drop off this ladder immediately. Let's see, I'm just gonna buffer here because it's it's a safe start. Uh, it lets me see what's going on instead of just blindly falling. All right, let's try and mount this. There you go. Nice little skip. Yeah, the bike lets you do that a lot. Another nice little fast group. Thank you, shield. Okay, I should have taken this, but it's a bit of habit. I think the lower route's slightly faster, but it can mess up more easily because you can bump off, bump off against enemies in that. There you go. Too bad. Yeah, Wild Kick is more of a safe utility than a damage dealer, but it can be good to use at times when you know you could damage the enemy, but there's they're throwing attacks at you. You know, why the claws are things you normally use all the time. So this boss is a bit mixed, right? There's a damage phase and there's a hit phase. So when the red button is out, it's a hit phase, but when it's cool, you have to get damage. Also, I can't get off the bike, I'm stuck, which is a bit unfortunate because being off the bike does more damage. So oh, I wanted that. Oh well. Yeah, this boss also has a bit of RNG, like I think whatever it can do it can be a bit random. It's not the worst RNG, but it can be annoying if you're trying to get a good IL. 
Come on. Right, get up here. Okay, we're nearly done. This is really close to my PB, wow. Speed 41 is pretty good. For reference, my uh, personal best in this level is 337, I think. But yeah, pretty good. I think had I got that wrong warp a bit faster, I probably would have PB'd. Oh well. So we're off to a good start. Okay, next stage. So this is Sky Battalion. Um, I don't know how much developer test this with Carol because it's pretty cruel. You, you get one bike in this level. If you lose it, then the, the level, the, you know, the run's pretty much dead. Unless you're just starting out. Then you just kind of grin and bear it. So we're just gonna do this. Because yeah, Wild Kick's a good, good like, parry tool. I mean, in the sequel you get a parry button, but this game doesn't have one, you just have to use your special. So we're gonna go down these slopes and... Yeah, okay, it didn't quite get me up, but we're, n we're near. Alright, so here comes the bike. Take good care of it. Oops, it's okay, no big deal. Alright, we need to skip these DNA cannons. So we don't lose our bike. Good, we're fine. Okay, that was weird, but it was okay. So yeah, I do normal claw attacks so you don't just bonk into that thing right after. If you damage it too fast, you will bonk. No exceptions. Okay, maybe there's a few exceptions, but usually I just end up just bonking there. Right. No need to restart anymore because we're fast. Great. That's why we went bike a lot of time. Oh god, I almost hit that fire. We're just gonna go through this anyway. Not too bad if you get hurt of a couple of times. Because we're going to take the shield for safety. Because, you know, this is full of annoying fire cycles like that. Okay, that was weird. That can happen, because, you know, they share the same button. Also, I forgot how to do this. <laughs> I forgot to, you know, de-rust on that. Anyways, mini boss time. Okay, this is really awkward. I just whiffed so much. Come back on the screen, you, you nuts. <sighs> it has to be by far the most awkward boss fight I've done in a oh, Come back here! Jeez. Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 they have this thing where enemies can just go off screen. It's a bit, it's slightly janky. Should've really kind of went to the side. But yeah, I usually do much better on that. Right, let's, let's do better now. I don't know why I took that spring, you don't really need it. Especially not on the bike. <sighs> yeah, so um, special Serap shares the boost and wild kick, so that can happen a lot. Oh, that was that was a good cycle. Save me some time. Alright, ooh. Alright, let's go. Get over, Ripper. Right, mini boss time. This is hit based. So you wanna just do this. Oopsies, I fell. There we go. Yeah, five hits. Always. Right, so now we're on to the big boss. It's actually one of the easier ones out there, or at least to master it is, it's pretty easy. You just do this. And then you can just go on the bike all the time. Just do it a wee bit faster. Whether or not your bike is kind of negligible at this boss, is pretty nice. Good for beginners. Except for the rest of the level. <laughs> okay, the music just stopped. I'll play my potato. Oh, I forgot about this completely! I just had a granny moment. It's okay, we're, we're, we're fine. We dealt with it, okay? <laughs> I can't believe I forgot that. Also, I got on that bike way too late. 
But we dealt with it, okay. Right. I think the last hit should be coming soon. Because it'll, it'll start going red. And we're done. We're done with Sky Battalion. Snowball. You always kind of get that with ball skills. This is far from over! Next stage. You don't do this in classic mode, but yeah, that's all you need the cutscenes for is to skip those first two levels. But I think it's faster for the um, Battle Glacier. Because it doesn't have that unskippable ship sequence. It's weird. Oh, excuse me. Also, I completely missed that. Wow. Alright. Let's go. No more derpy mistakes. I'm sure I'll make some. As is the nature of marathon runs. Alright, uh, down there. Yeah, you can't really boost in midair. Just turn into wild kick. I mean, the sequel you can, but that's not really a finished game, it's just a demo. Go play the Freedom Plant 2 demo. Alright, so let's go up here. So yeah, if you try to use the jump pad with any other character, it just gives you crystals. Okay, we're using the jump pads just a moment, just for safety's sake. Actually, I don't know if it might- it might actually be faster, also I just derped again. There we go. <sighs> oh, that was nice and smooth. It's always good to, when you do that. Jump over the lake like that. Nice. Take that. Right, so Deer is a lot of trouble for newbies. But there's a quick way to beat her without spawning those annoying shields. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. See? Didn't have a chance. Okay, see, if you do enough damage to her, she'll never, never spawn a shield. So this shield comes in good for safety reasons. There's another one you can grab later on if you want to take that instead. I just, I just used to taking this one, that's all. So yeah, it, yeah, I lost the shield when I needed it for those bombs. It's a shame. At least we still have the bike. I was meant to take that water shield, but it's okay. We can, we can grab it just before the boss. There's another shield along the way. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, this has a pretty good OST. I've just listened to it so much. Alright, so here comes the big boss. Now, this guy's pretty annoying because nobody exactly knows how his attack pattern, wor pattern works, and this kind of matters because, like, when he does his bullet storm, you can't hit him at all, and it tends to, you know, stun lock you. Yeah, this one right here is a very annoying attack. Alright, so we can do this. We can just spam Wild Claw against the wall, throw on the bike. We call, we call it Carol Saw. So we're gonna get down as many Wild Claws as we can. Do not land on the bike, because that'll give us less damage. Yeah, this is the problem with this boss for Cal. They're just- these bikes are just in the way. There we go. Pretty- pretty decent big creep. P38, it's not too shabby. Okay, we can't skip this cutscene. Some of them you can skip, some of them you just have to mash through. It's a bit weird. I think it's how the way, you know, clicking fusion is coded. The cutscenes were a pain to do. 
from the developer's experience, so I think they're kind of just hammed in with duct tape. Yeah, we just do that on purpose. I think it gives you better cycle that way. Also, I didn't mean to do that. You kind of just like find that very corner of the laser where it's not showing laser and then not get damaged. Oops. Okay. <laughs> this isn't good. Alright. Preemptive damage, there you go. Yeah, we haven't got a very good cycle anymore. Because I'm a dum dum. Alright. There you go. We don't want to get stun locked by those lasers. It's very annoying. This game wants you to know it has stun lock. Especially in this level. It's not very beginner friendly. Alright, go in this barrel. For big speed. But we want to take this upper path because it has the bike. As we can see. Right here. I'm afraid of that cycle. Don't blame me. Don't want to get hit by that spike. Alright. So we're up here. And we just go all the way through here. I'm gonna jump on this enemy because it's safe. Put on that boost so we can just go straight across. Right. Can we do this boss well? Hey, that was pretty decent. I played it a bit safe there, but sometimes it's better to be safe, especially in the marathon. I honestly forgot to estimate my weight for this, but with that big PB I got just recently, I'm sure I'll be absolutely fine. Despite that big mini boss mess up, that was just spare it, spare to you, okay? We, we all have our spaghetti moments. Mm -hmm. Go all the way up here. So we want to preemptively attack the boss. So we're not fumbling about. One, two, three, four. Okay. Good. And we just want to... I didn't mean to use these useless jump pads. But yeah, we just go in the corner here and spam attack. That seems to be the most effective way. Originally we just spammed while called in the middle, but apparently this is faster, so I'm doing it. Yes, it's, it's, it's super fun to watch. I know, right? Uh, well, we're nearly done. Alright, so we're just gonna own this guy. Uh, come on. Yeah. If you try and kill him before the, the boss fight starts, then the game's soft locked, so we, you should never kill him completely before the arena's fight. It, it actually breaks the game. You're here to... Yeah, it's another skippable cutscene. I... But the next part is, apparently. See, like this. <laughs> it's weird. Alright. Oops. It's okay. The cycle we need doesn't come until a lot later on. So we can just sort of take our time here for a bit. Because 34 is the magic number for the timer. But don't take that out of context. It's really what it is. We're gonna try two times for this zip, and if we don't get it, then we're gonna take the regular route. It's my deal I always make. Alright, let's go. 34. Yeah. Okay, second try. I nearly got it! You know what, I'm gonna try one more time, right? Are you, are you kidding me? Okay, I'm really, I'm really not having any good luck here. Okay, no, never mind, we're taking the regular route. It's a shame because I've been getting this a lot lately, but today's not my day. Just finish off it with, you know, a little claw. It's a shame when that happens. You know, you spent so long trying to get the zip and you never get it. It's really pedantic for the position, right? You have to be on the very... Usually around the very left edge, otherwise you'll just pop out.
I definitely say it's the hardest for Carol. That to be said, I think the middle one is a bit unreliable, but her method is completely different. I don't know, I just suck at Miller Zips. Anyways, we're talking about Carol here. Yeah, so this is pretty awkward as Carol. I'm gonna try and wild kick through this fire. Right, so we do this to get rid of the enemies, otherwise they'll probably get in our way trying to do this. For that. And we're gonna do the world's easy zip. Stack these boxes. Done. Right, go down here. Ah, I messed it up! Okay, we'll take this as a compensation. See, this special shield will actually come in really handy for the boss, so that's a trade-off. That really did not work out. I see, I'll try even trying the save strategy, and even that messed up. What a shame. Also, sorry for talking too fast. I was trying to see it. I was trying to save strategy. Yeah, I'm all tongue twisted. All right, let's go. So with the metal shield, you can do this. You can just stick behind and not get hurt. You lost it. Not the best. Okay. Now in this sequence you get like an auto speed boost but you're gonna take the bike anyway because we need it for later on. There we go. It's smooth. Should have probably used a boost though so that wild kick didn't happen but whatever. Is the game stuck? Oh I hope it's not. Is it is a game froze? Please don't tell me. Oh no. Um, do you want me to stop or reset? Or is it on the DIN system's end? Apparently. Uh, I'll try and refresh, hold on. Yeah, we, we're okay. Uh, it's, it just needed a reset. I think it was just a problem with, um... Thing. I was getting a phone call, I have to go, hold on. Okay. Carry on playing, it's, it's okay. not frozen anymore. Okay, good. Yeah, that was on my end. It was on his end, actually. <laughs> Sorry about that. Right, so we're gonna try fall smoothly through here, but I didn't quite achieve it. Right. <sighs> Just got the skip. Yeah, there's a clip you can do, but it's a lot harder. That's, that's way more reliable. Just to do that. Use the boost. Okay, this is very safe. You know, if you get crushed, then you lose the bike entirely, so... We're a bit cautious around the area. Do you get shield? It's handy. Alright, we're doing good. Oops. Yeah, there's a cursor in the screen I'm moving away because I don't know if it's being recorded or not. I don't want the cursor being recorded. Alright, so we're gonna do this. Ah, there we go, good. Just in time. Okay, well, alright, that's good. I'm moving it away anyway. Oh wait, we're doing it too early there. Yeah, this boss is pretty straightforward, but you need really need to get the early fight so the, you know you're not flying all over the place. Come on. Well, at least we've got a good cycle, so she didn't fly all the way up. So yeah, thanks to feeling that zip way too many times, I got a bit a bad time. <laughs> Should have maybe, you know, bailed out a bit earlier. Right. Cutscene skip. So this is for like, the, the really, really good part. As in, absolutely snorefest. Because all you need to do to win this is just alternate between these two fire buttons. And you've won the level. Also, this is even cap towards your in-game time. I 
Oh my god. So I'm just gonna... Gonna chill. I can shoot up this double jump, which it doesn't have any use. I believe the enemy spawning is RNG. Or maybe they just have too little health. This is this how you don't design the shooting up section? I'm sure Strife has learned his lesson now not to design them like this. Also, please put them in part of the game time. He's playing the game. Yeah, I think this section is kind of forgotten about. That's why it's not part of any game plan. But it is an auto score, so I guess it doesn't matter that much. I mean, there's a boss that comes at the end of this. It's not that hard. You could change your direction. I mean, not like it does much, but it's there. Yeah, that tiny thing right there is your hitbox. That little, little tiny cow. Uh, Millen also gets the exact same section, but uh, with their elections riding the dragon. That's quite the plot. It makes a bit more sense when you play the game. It's not a real dragon, it's a hollow dragon. Also, I've got an itchy shoulder. I can use this to itch my shoulder. I can tank these, don't worry, it's casual mode. <laughs> We're done. Goodbye. Finally, we can actually play the game properly. So for some reason there's a bug where your health doesn't be set after the start of this, but it's okay. It seems to only happen in casual mode for some reason, but whatever, it's we'll easily we gain our health. Alright, so we're gonna take a weird detour so we can reach the bike. Ugh, it's trying to dodge these hits. Alright, so we we're kind of pixel hunting here. We need to find a good raised edge so we can climb up here. Like that. There we go. Really awkwardly placed bike. I don't know what the developer was thinking. Woo! This shield. I just forgot for a moment. I've been playing a bit of bike quest for a mission, so I'm actually a bit muddled up sometimes. Maybe I'm just making excuses. <sighs> nah, I think we all kind of just battle our muscle memory when we learn new categories and all. Right. Yeah, her bike jump is a bit actually a bit lower. The double jump makes it overall more high though. This has really weird target priority. Then I think like targets a higher lower part or just targets the enemy when you don't want it to. See like that. It's targeting the higher wall. When it really shouldn't. I swear. Also, I forgot to practice this. As you can clearly see right here. <laughs> yeah, you can actually do triple drill walls with Carol. I used to be able to do it for a while and then I forgot and I keep forgetting to learn it again. Or I keep forgetting to practice it. Anyways, absolution. Ooh. Yeah, this is quite notorious with the uh, babies. It does a lot of damage. Once you learn the pattern though, it's not too bad. But I learned the nip. Yeah, if you stay like around here, it doesn't move much. God. We want to keep this metal shield, alright? For good reason. No, my shield! I needed that. Oh well. It's not a big time loss. The most important thing is that we, we keep the bike. Like, I just I just jinxed it. Completely. Now I can't shield the zip anymore. I, I, I seriously, I have, I have no comment for how, how astoundingly stupid I was. Welcome to Marathons. Can I at least keep this for the... No, I can't. I can't have... Oh well, we're just gonna do this then. 
I think you can do the zip without the bike, but it's way too hard, so... You're gonna see bikeless for a while. Good thing I've practiced it. Sort of. Right, so something I have noticed is actually the, the, the stream froze again, but only when it buffered, but I had a look, I was looking at it constantly this time. Ugh. When it buffered, it just froze, so I just reset the player again, but don't worry. You don't okay. have to reset the, st the stream or the run or anything, it's only freezing on my end. Oh, it's not okay. freezing on your end, so just keep it as it is, but okay. as it were, marathon luck as it were, you know, it's uh, just something that's happening. But yeah, keep going and... We haven't had any new donations yet, though, so... Alright, so this is what you normally do. You just take this little crane and go like that. We'll be getting the bike soon, TM. I do know, the, know there's another one later on we can pick up. We're gonna need it for the boss. It's very important. Though, I mean, at least off the bike, it, Carol's a lot easier to control. I mean, she is slow, but she's not, like, slippery like a banana. Yeah, I jumped down to go down faster, so... Off the bike, you just kind of do that. <laughs> you just kind of sort of clip into the shield to get up. Without waiting wood for the, you know, pull-ups. Alright, so we're on the bike, and we're gonna need this. It's very important. For not only boss, but for this drill skip. The drill section's horrible, I'm glad we can skip it. <laughs> right. There we go, triple. That was weird, but... At least we got six hits just before he attacked us. We're doing pretty good for Dale too. I thought his name was Dally because it's just time kind of Chinese, but it's actually called Dale, and I'm still really disappointed to this day. It's such a missed opportunity because you know there's a place in China that's called Dally. Why did you? Why did you name him Dale? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm meant to be talking about the game. Well, I mean, it's, it's a bit of interesting tidbit, right? I guess. I guess. Right. Uh, next part. Oh, yeah. Spade. I don't think she even had a chance to say that. <laughs> He's just kind of there in the pot, but he does something, but he doesn't quit the farm or dread not. Right, um, so we'll be getting the bike very soon. Any moment now. Here comes the bike. Nicely, you know, placed in two pants. Alright. We do this because it's just easier to do that because, you know, the cycles are really evil. Also, I was meant to go up that wall, but never mind. No big deal. Alright. See if I can get this. You can actually get past there without, you know, getting stuck on the wall. I haven't quite figured that out yet, though. I will eventually. That was an accident, but I probably should have been doing that the entire time. I'm a bit afraid of losing the bike too early. Just need to be safe. Oops. There we go. That was a really good damage boost. That was amazing. 
Yeah, getting off the bike is slow in this game. It's down and jump, so you have to slow down. No. Right, so we're on to Final Dreadnought 2, which has no bike. It's also quite a notorious level because there's like this really annoying squid, which is like it's a total cluster of enemies, uh, and it's kind of hard to avoid any uh, attack entirely. I don't like that section. Also, there's Dead Box, which is pretty notorious. It's way too hard with Carol, so we're not bothering with that. And these little things it leaves. Slime piles, I don't know. Slime trails. Yeah, these flowers are annoying as well. We've got poison gas. I, to I told you. It's hard to avoid everything in this section. You kind of just have to get hurt. Well, maybe there is, but I just don't like this the route without getting hurt. It just doesn't feel as fun. Going in with speed is part of the fun. These fights. It's okay, we're fine. We didn't fall. Right, let's go. Bounce. Okay, that didn't quite work. You can kind of pounce into the slope so to get that nice big speed, but never mind. I suppose thanks to that we don't get a terrible cycle, but we just get hurt inevitably. Can I sit? It doesn't save much time, but I like doing it. I seem to get it a lot. Save some frames. Always think of the frames, they're, they're poor creatures. For safety to kick there. Right, zip time again. Yes! You got the big, bigger zip. It's not the biggest, but that requires insane button mashing. I'm not even gonna bother. Very few are capable of doing the, the full elevator zip. Not even some of the top runners can do it. Come on. Good. Pinch mode. Yeah, not many bosses have a pinch mode. It's only this particular one for some reason. He'll be fine, don't worry. Oh, like, seriously. Sorry for spoilers, if anyone cares about that. It's not- they're not dead until the author says so. Now for the Dimp Sonic level. It has boosters everywhere, therefore it is one. Come on. You know what, I'm gonna take this for safety. Yeah, the bike has three hits and resets on every room change. Also this section is quite notorious for using the bike at, so yeah. I'm gonna get some safety. 
We're taking the upper route for safety. Just feeling fun for a moment. We're fine. Let's see if we can take the chopper. Yay! There we go. Good. Pretty decent. You didn't smack into anything, so it's good on me. We got that too. We're really done with the layout section already. So yeah, Final Dreadnought originally meant to be like an entire level on its own, but it got split into four. And also we have an unskippable cutscene, so if there's any donations or anything then feel free to talk about them. Uh, no donations at the moment, but just a reminder to everybody that donations are being uh, raised for everyone. Can they're a Manchester-based charity that helps disabled kids get into gaming. They have a massive gaming centre in Manchester as well. Um, they are an absolutely fantastic charity. Please be sure that if you do want to go and donate, click on the Everyone Can logo in the panels and that will take you to the Totify page. Uh, every little helps and if we can reach £300 by getting the that would be absolutely fantastic. Currently our total stands at £120.25 so let's try and get some more donations today if we can. Yeah, so this is Mutant Milo. Turns into that way from Brevin's Beta Gem. Now, I think like Milo was originally meant to die from this, but he didn't, so yeah. She's fine. Also, this is my favorite glitch. If you go into the Wallace Carol after the fight, this happens. <laughs> it totally ruins the mood, but it's, it's good for laughs. So, final, final level. The final, final of Dreadnought. There's a lot of cycles here. There's some, a, bit, a bit of waiting involved for cycles to pass. Because their jump isn't very versatile. Yeah, you have to do this. There's no bike in this level either. I'm gonna do a bit of pause buffer just to make it easier. Oh, it missed the shield. Oh well. We'll grab one later on. Cancel these slopes for extra speed. Transition skip. So you can get past this quite fast, but you need the bubble shield. And some clever, you know, little well kick parry. Ah! Spaghetti! Oh, the big oops. I'm not sure if I should even bother taking that shield. Right. So it always feels good to pounce like that. I quite like how you can quickly switch directions with Carol. It's pretty neat. Yeah, you, you get long invincibility frames in casual mode like that, so you can just climb up with any, you know, after any shield. You don't need bezel. Oops. Or for you, nothing. Because we skipped Cutsy. Okay, he offered, he offered her one chance. TM. You know, just typical building things. One chance. We're just gonna do this to save real time. I mean, I, I, I don't really die from 
these things. So we can potentially hit him. That was damage boost. Come on. Come on. Well, we got it eventually. <laughs> so yeah, his first attack patterns are fixed, but then become RNG eventually. It's actually patched in. Officially. There we go, we're finished. But I'm not gonna save time until the timer ends. It's not over till the fact that these things. <laughs> time. That's it. So I'm gonna check mine and time from this. Let's see. What in game time did they get? Thirty-five, forty-three. It's okay, I guess. <laughs> it's quite so a in, oops, Sorry. So in the marathon timer, forty-five, thirty-six. All right. What was my estimate? Was it forty-eight? Yeah, forty-eight okay. was your estimate. Okay. So an underestimate. Right. Yeah, underestimate. So Even with that being said. Yeah, we huh? need to set up for the uh, bonus incentive. Yeah. Yes. Uh, which I think has a little look. Uh, the targets. I think it is met. I put this, the donation advert on very quickly for showing why your donation to everyone can will be very helpful. All those of you watching in the stream, these keep the donations coming whilst training is just setting up for the incentive. Alright. Um, I need to...